We're talking about the fourth ranked legacy Sabre girls hosting Minnesota Moorhead. Second half, Sabre is leading big, moving the ball around. Mia Berryhill with the no look pass to Aaliyah McPherson for the easy bucket. What a pass there. On the defensive end, Brooklyn Felkley with the block. McPherson pushing in transition, pass it to a wide open Hallie Severson. It gets the layup there. Felkley on offense this time. Have another no look dish from Barry Hill. The turnaround jumper good to go. Legacy a 12 1 run to start the half. They cruise to a big win 64 28. On the boys' side, it is Sabres versus Spuds. First half action. Legacy going down low. Sharp shooter per Parker Falcon showing he can post up two. Hook shot. Good to go. Old school basketball there. Moorhead the other way. Looking at the handles from Dylan Zimmerman behind the back. Gets the kind roll for the lay in. Right before the half, Aiden Westgard, girling off the screen, backs down, spins, lays it in on the other side. The Sabres pull away in the second half, 80-73. Well, the northern part of Bismarck, St. Mary's hosting West Fargo Horace. First half belonging to Jaden Halley. A rebound and the putback here, part of her 19 first half boys. Horace leading by double digits. Saints trying to battle back inbound. Matea Messer battling down low. Count the hoop and the harm, three-point play. Hawks back on offense, but St. Mary's forcing a turnover. Alexis Gerving with the steal and a pass to Natalie Benning. Up ahead, she will get the bucket there. However, Horace wins this one by 10. St. Mary's boys looking for their first win of the year, taking on Horace as well. Off an inbound play, Brady Ruggles by Nick Romich in the catch and shoot three. Saints get a groove offensively. But then the Hawks take over all from the play of Mr. Diamande. Stepping back for the long two. Good. This time, driving from the baseline on the jump. It's jump stop, excuse me, laying it up with the right hand. Great finish. Get Saints lose another tough one. By Out east. Davies. Demons trailing by one, but Jersey Berg has something to say about bearing the deep three for the lead. But the Eagles respond. Carly Franks from way downtown as this game starts going back and forth. Later on, Davies in transition, leading to an open layup for Arabelle Tookshire. However, it's Davies that pulls away late. Same matchup on the boys' side out east. Bismarck for Davies. Davies in transition. This pass up ahead to Alpha Kamara for the alley. Oop slam. Demons responding. Weston Scott waving his way through the defense and gets this to go off the glass, but the Eagles, Mason Claybo driving in the lane, Euro step and score. A lot of scoring in this one, but it'd be a 102-75 loss for the Mark Demons. Other scores, Dixon hosted Grand Forks Central, girls winning by six on the boys' side. It's the Knights leading by 10. Williston girls defeat Fargo South, 65-58. The boys' game home final as well, 84-59. Century in Wyoming, both the boys and the girls sweep in Campbell County. And finally, Jamestown taking down West Fargo. Girls win by 10. The boys, though, lose by 5.